You could turn in your Bibles to Somebody wants You're joining us at Somebody Once Told Me, the podcast where we explore the voice of Christ and his church in the book of Psalms. Who told us what? All these guys. If you're wondering, like nobody's ever asked me who the heck are all these guys. Aaron's (laughs) pointing at the artwork for the audio listeners. Nobody's asked me. Nobody cares. No. Well, hang on. Bottom (laughs) right, as you look at it, there's a little garden. (laughs) Yeah. That's, What's that about? That's the that's Zion, the holy hill, and that, that's the sort of like blessed is the man who's in the gar- he's like the garden. Who imagery. painted that? Do you know? No idea. Cool. This is David, and his this is um in his, his harp. harp, the Psalms of David, um, and then all the guys around are just church fathers. Calvin. And, no, that's actually who's that? Where is Calvin? Is he here? He's not there. Okay, that's Thomas Cranmer. Is it? <laughs> yeah. He he wrote the book on prayer, which has this guy looks look. He needs to eat a bit more. He's got a very thin face. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> um, I think that's one of the Gregories. Spurgeon didn't need to eat more. That's, that's for the- sure. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Luther definitely <laughs> no. didn't. Look at that. Shrek didn't. No, yeah. he did it. Oh, a terrifying auger. This is Andrew Bonar. Oh, legend! Brilliant. This is a... And then the two biggest figures sprawling above them all. Are the clueless ones. <laughs> the clueless ones. <laughs> Sam and Aaron. And uh, yeah, we're on Psalm 4. And we're looking at... Well, do you want to read Aaron verse... Oh, just verse 6, yeah. should we do? Yes, okay. Let's do verse 6. <clears throat> there are many who say, Who will show us some good? Lift up the the light of your face upon us, Lord. <laughs> Okay, that's it. <laughs> so, uh, so, oh, again, right straight away. This reminds me of many a saying of me. Verse, sorry, Psalm yeah. three, verse two, the previous Psalm, verse two. Many a saying of me, God will not deliver him. Mm. Now he says, many are asking, who can show us any good? So, just starting with that first bit, again, Jesus is very tuned in to what people are saying. You know, yeah. he's not. Yeah, in his days on earth, he's he is, isn't he? He's tuned into what his enemies are saying. Um, he's tuned into what the general chat of the culture is, I guess, you know. Um many are asking, who can show us any good? Yeah. What, what what's he saying there? What's that about? Uh it's off the back of this verses four and five, isn't it? He's he's rebuked his enemies, uh, saying, Go to bed. Have a think. Go to your room. <laughs> Go to your room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, stop sinning. Be silent. Offer right sacrifices. Then he's like, there are many who are saying, who will show us some good? Um, and he's he's addressing their 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 deep need, mm-hmm. um, and their deep cravings. So they are restless. They are um, unhappy without him. And they rage against him. He's like, sort that out. Go humble yourself. Um, you, this is what you say. This is what you say. Who can show us any good? Yeah. Um, and they even say, lift up the light of your face upon us, Lord. So they are crying out to the Lord. They go in. Um, Who can show us any good? They're crying out. Yeah, so do you think, because I've just got speech marks here that go from who can show us any good, but then do you reckon actually probably the sp- they're, that they're asking the whole verse. They're also saying... My speech marks end on, oh Lord. So the, Oh really? That's yeah. interesting. So the so, so, NIV, because they're just making these decisions, aren't they? That it's, none of this is in the Hebrew, the speech marks. Yeah. So, so the NIV says they're simply asking who can show us any good, but the ESV says they continue to say... Yeah, they continue to say that. Because it doesn't make light. sense otherwise. Because if it's who many are saying who will show us any good, um, or who can show us some good, lift up the 
the eyes of your face upon us, O Lord, so that who can show us some good? Let your face shine upon yeah. us. And then verse 7 is, you've put more joy in my heart. Mm. So it's back to the individual, the Christ then speaking yeah. about his heart. So it makes sense that mm. um, verse 6 is all about what people are saying. Is this a bit like when the Apostle Paul says, I can tell you that you know the Jews, they're zealous for God. Yeah. Like they do actually want <laughs> it, the God of the heavens to yeah. show them uh, light you know, and to give them revelation and mm. help. But it's like, but they just don't know the way in which God has done that. And the one in which he does that. You yeah, know, it, it is that, I think. Um, so many are asking, yeah, who who can help us? Where, yeah. Where's the good? Where, come where from? can our help come from? Um, but this is quite direct, though. Let the light of your face shine upon us. That is like blessing, the smile yeah. of God. Like, look at... You know, Psalm 80s. is that. Look on us, look, God Almighty, yeah. Shine your glory. You know, it's that sort of stuff, isn't it? So they Jesus is looking out saying, look, you see, you're, you're looking for salvation. Yeah. But you um, want to kill me. Yeah. You, you're raging against me, but I am the one through whom God will give you good. Yeah. I am the light of the world, he will literally say. Yeah. Um, so the irony, isn't it, of those who... Yeah, uh, with the lips on a God, mm. but the hearts are far from Him. It's yeah. all that stuff, isn't it? I I think primarily he is he is addressing those people who are godly, and yeah. I'm doing a, what are the, what's this called? Speech marks, speech uh, marks, um, bunny ears. I don't know. You know the thing, yeah. <laughs> you know the Pharisees, the the Sadducees. His most, yeah, his his greatest opposition. Yeah, um, those who turned the people against him yeah um and it obviously those people that he came to save that the pharisees turned against him are also crying out who can show us any good and they, he sees the plight of the people doesn't he 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 sees us in our need that we do turn to everything and anything to yeah. give us relief yeah um and we turn to idols we turn to meaningless things to give us meaning mm. and sometimes we'll go lord shine your face on us but all yeah. the all the time the answer is jesus jesus christ yeah the individual who's actually praying this yeah uh, that must have really grieved him the fact that well, these people like they they want god whatever god is they want him <laughs> they mm. want light they want help but they're killing. They're gonna. Ki they want to kill me. The one. Mm. Yeah. So it's, it's what he says, isn't it? Jerusalem, Jerusalem. How? Yeah. How many times I've longed you who kill the prophets? Yeah. How many <laughs> times I've just wanted to, and you're like, what? Annihilate them? Or but no, gather you together. <laughs> but <laughs> like a mother every hen. time, even you know, the prophets are preaching. Yeah. The gospel. Repent. Repent. Turn, turn. to the Lord. It doesn't take pleasure in you dying. Just repent and believe. And they hate him. Yeah. Yeah. And when he comes in the flesh, that is what's happening in its most intense form. It really is still the foes of Psalm 3, isn't it? These yeah. Are the, it is the religious, the Pharisees, the teachers of the law, the yeah. chief priests, the ones who, they're not atheists, like what, you no. know, in the sense that they believe there's no God. They, they, claim to know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but they don't. And it's that horrible tension and irony in a mm. way, isn't it? Um, yeah. it? It's the cry of the worldlings. That's what Spurgeon says. Cry of the worldlings. Yeah, the worldlings. Okay, yeah, okay. The creatures they, of the world. The they will find, they will try and find life in the things of the world. Yeah. In the, in the created things. At the same time, cry out for help but never find it because they never seek it in the right place. Wow. Um, so it's a cry over the worldlings. That's helpful from Spurge. Spurgeon. Good lad. There he is. Nice. Right, should we leave it there, As, and we'll, we'll finish up Psalm 4 in the next pod. Somebody once told me it